10 on your side uncovered new information today about a brutal abduction in James City County. The suspect waited outside the victim's home. Police say 27-year-old Joshua Snyder held his ex-girlfriend hostage in her apartment. It's in the Midlands neighborhood off John Tyler Highway. Police say Snyder had already been inside before she got back. They say he brought belts, duct tape, and sleeping pills. 10 on your side's Liz Palka is live near that scene tonight. And Liz, the details of this attack are hard to hear. Oh, yeah, and I've spoken to a lot of neighbors tonight. None of them knew about this assault. In fact, I did speak to one woman who heard someone screaming Friday night around the time all of this happened, and now she's shocked to find out that could have been the victim. I, I want to get right to this video. Neighbors are relieved to find out that Joshua Snyder has been arrested. Police tell us this is a picture, the picture on your screen. This is a picture of officers taking him into custody on Saturday morning. His truck was spotted. A chase happened. And after using spike strips, he was finally stopped on I-64 West near exit 195. He's charged with abduction, strangulation, breaking and entering with intent to commit assault, grand larceny, and assault and battery. Police tell us he held the victim, his ex-girlfriend, against her will for 40 minutes on Friday. He put duct tape over her mouth several times. She tried to text message for help. They say he took her phone. He also tried to strangle her at one point, and when she tried to escape, police say he blocked her. At another point, she got him out of the house. He ran around back and came in through a sliding door. The victim did escape. She ran for help and was taken to the hospital where she has already been treated and released. And even though neighbors like Iris Tarda didn't see a police scene, here's what she told us she heard on Friday night. I got home around maybe 4 or 5 o'clock that afternoon from the hospital, and I was lying upstairs in bed. My daughter was at work, and I heard a scream. It wasn't really close by. It was somewhere in the area. And uh, I just thought, what well, it could have been the kids acting up around here at night. But it was a woman screaming. But it was a woman screaming, yeah. Police found more signs that Snyder had been in the victim's apartment. They said they found a bag with rope, belts, sex toys, duct tape, and sleeping pills in her home. They say he brought them. And Snyder is still in the hospital, according to police. They say when they arrested him, he had a self-inflicted stab wound to the abdomen. They also said he had cuts on his arm. They brought the magistrate to the hospital to charge him, and there's no word yet on when he'll be in court. Live in James City County, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.